فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم want to express and elaborate how important it is how important it is that the Arabic language is studied there is nothing I believe a person can learn to become a scholar in this field better for him than learning the Arabic language it's the key to the deen if you do not learn Arabic and you do not study it you will never be able to become a strong a dedicated a true student of knowledge let alone a scholar I can't emphasize on more how important it is for a person to sit down and give time to Arabic the whole religion is Arabic the Quran is Arabic the hadith is Arabic how on earth you won't understand it if you don't understand the language in which he's speaking in it. So give time to study the Arabic language. And to be honest, it is a very easy subject. Very easy. Very simple. But there are two reasons why it becomes hard. It's normally an easy and a simple subject. But for two reasons that come, it becomes hard. The first one is the instructors and the teachers who are actually teaching this field, they complicate it. They teach a small book and what they do is the small book in which they are explaining, they bring too much information into it that is not relevant for the time being. So for instance, we're studying al Jumiyah, and one of the last books, inshallah, we're going to study is al fiyat ibn Malik or Mughni Labib by Ibn Hisham al-Ansari. There's no need for me to bring shawahid and istidlalat from the shuruh of uh, Ibn Aqil Sharh of Al-Fiyat Ibn Malik or the, even the, the Al-Fiyat itself I don't need to bring it now I don't even need to quote it We're studying Ajrubiyah We're at the first book of grammar We should just stick to this method and simplify, simplify it as much as we can If we want to say anything it should just come from the book Nothing from outside Leave what's outside the second thing that makes this subject very complicated and it's not that it's complicated in and within itself is because the people who are studying it don't come with the aspiration required from them. When they feel like there's a f any form of wave that comes their way that is a slight that needs a requires from them to open their minds a bit they don't want to do that. They want a knowledge that is self-explanatory, simple, easy, like flows. And that's never any field of the religion or any, nothing in the religion or nothing in any place in the world is just simple like that. Or to an extent where you can just read it somewhere and understand it straight away. Everything needs a form of striving, a bit of striving. If a person gets the right instructor, a good teacher who's, who knows the field, and who's going to stick to the text and not go outside the text one and that person has the will to, and the enthusiasm and the want then no doubt he will learn this field and he can become a leader in this field I'm going to give you guys a story of one scholar who went by the name of Khalid al-Azhari he has a book called Musil al-Tulab ila ilm al-I'rab kama ila qawaid al-I'rab this man, this great Imam, Khalid al-Asari, he used to pour tea for the students in Jamaat al-Asar. Pour tea for them. One day what he did was he poured the tea and by accident the tea poured on the student's book or notes and the student got angry with him and said, yo, ignorant man. Ignorant man. Watch where you pour. That word reverberated. It just went into his mind again and again and again. And Imam Khalid al-Asari rahimahullah ta'ala sat down and started from the Arabic grammar until he became an Imam Yusharu ilayhi He became an Imam in this field of the Arabic language that he was pointed towards Any matter of Nahw or Balagha uh, any Nahw or Sarf or the language of the Arabic language he would be the 
he would be the mazdar, he would be the source to come back to. Just that word. Ya jahil. Your ignorant man. Woke him up and he moved. This is what I tell every student, wherever you are. You can become what you want. You get the right teacher, you get you, you have the right effort, and you have the right syllabus, you can become what you want to be.